So what you like to add an actual token to your Phantom Wallet? Let's show you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to open my Phantom Wallet. So the first step here is to make sure you're logged into your wallet with the passphrase or the biometric authentication. In this case, since I am using an actual computer, I'm going to be using an extension of the website, the web uh, browser that I'm currently using. So now that I'm inside the actual section of the token list, I have the token list section here. This is where you can view the list of your tokens currency. And here, if I clicked here, which says check out the list of all the tokens, you can see that we only have four of them. So if you wanted to click and add a new token, what you can do is to focus here into this menu and address book. In address book, I'm going to be helping you to add an actual address. And of course, this one should be helping you into the future. Now, if I go back, let's get into your account here and let's click into your account of this network section. So to add a token, you can add a custom token and click into this option to proceed with adding a new token to your wallet. So usually here we have all the tokens and we can check it out by the volume and all the networks. So if I click here into this specific token, you can see that we have all the information about this currency and how we can make this swap for. So usually if you wanted to add in a specific in this token section, you can see that of course you can usually find this address to this project website and of course through the actual tokens that are available only into the actual phantom. So if I, let's say, wanted to receive an actual token, I go for the option that says received. Now, but first of all, what I wanted to do is to go into adjustments, go into my preferences and try to change the language. Now I can go back, make sure that directly inside the active networks, you can enable all of them. Now I wanted to make sure that everything looks great here. As you can see, here's my account. The preferences are already been active. I'm going to hit back, back once again and hit now into reset. So these are the four tokens that I have that I can receive directly into my Phantom Wallet. If you have a little bit of so long, then what you can do is to add a custom address. In this case, this one is not available for me. But if you do, what you can do is just to hit now into manage the token list and go for add a custom token. In this case, I am not available to do this at the moment, maybe because I don't have any tokens at the moment. So once you choose that information, what you want to do is to whether you want to locate the token directly here into your account or what you can do is to go directly into etherscan or into the actual coin market account.com where you can look out for all the tokens you want to and look out for a custom address. So the custom address will be of course the main key to add it directly indirectly into your phantom wallet. So for example, let's say that I'm looking for the Cosmo uh, token, the Atom. So I select it and here it is. So as you can see, it says loading data. And just what I need to do is to locate here, it says context. So here into contracts, as you can see, I can add all of these elements. Make sure that you're using, for example, Polygon. I copy this directly into my clipboard. I go back into my Phantom Wallet and I paste it when you, of course, choose to receive your token. And actually, that's how you can actually add this token, custom token, directly into your actual Phantom Wallet. Just in case this one is not enabled for you, just in case it happens totally, uh, let's say as I did with me, what you can do is to look out for another custom wallet. You don't have to worry about that. You can try it out with MetaMask. You can try it out with Coinbase Wallet, for example. And here, what I just need to do is to sign in. And then what I need to do is now to add my own custom token. So as you can see, I can look out back. I have now all my tokens. Here are all my cryptos. So I'm going to go for received. And here I choose, uh, let's say, for example, Solana or even Ether, Ethereum or BMV, whatever. So I choose the actual element that I want to receive. Let's say, for example, this one. And I copy and paste the token or the address that I received from the actual coin market cap. And that, guys, is how you can actually easily do this process. It's actually not that hard. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. It's a really easy tutorial. You can use MetaMask. You can use Coin uh, Base uh, Wallet. You can do so much more just in case the Phantom Wallet is not enabled for you or you are not able to add a custom token. The last solution that I can give you is that you can try this out directly into your phone 
just to make sure that this one is actually correctly uh, functioning. Sometimes this might be an issue of the extension of the actual website, so you have to worry about it. Just wait a couple of days and everything could be successfully done. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, see you next time.